Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to create a pennant flag in Canva to sell in your e-commerce shop. Also, I'm going to be giving you tips on how to create a mock-up and I'm going to be teaching you how to use Typecraft, which is a word text creation, warped text creation app in Canva. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So I'm in Canva right now, and this pennant flag that I created here, I created actually in Adobe Illustrator. And I created um, all of these pennant flags in this template pack in Adobe Illustrator, but you can easily create this in Canva too. I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. It just doesn't create it exactly how I wanted it, and I'll show you why. So these are the mockups that I created too, and if you want to buy this template pack, I'm gonna be releasing it at the end of this month and you can opt in for the waitlist at the in the description of this video. Okay, so to create a pennant flag like this in Canva, you will go to elements and you will go to triangle. Then you will go to border style and you can do like a dotted line, you can uh, do a solid line, whatever you want. I'll do a solid line for this one. And I'm gonna make the border weight one because I want it to be thin so when people cut it out, they don't have that heavy border on there. So then you wanna make the inside a solid color and I can make it white. And you wanna make it white because if you don't, if you do it um, as just no color at all by choosing this, then when you go to create a mock-up for this product, it won't be easy because it will remove everything um, on the product to create the mock-up. So you wanna make sure that it's white. Okay, so then what you can do is you can turn it this way and then you can create your shape. You can also make it a softer color, not that, but the border outline, you can make it a softer color, like a gray if you want so that when people cut it out it's not so obvious that the lines are there so you can do this you can also make the triangle um, more flat you can make it wider whatever you want to do and then if you want to create the pennant flag like i have up here uh, you can copy this Control c Control v and then you can click uh, you can sit, you can turn this like this you want to make sure that it's turned to 90 degrees and then you can match it up to that. And what I do is I like to make it bigger so I can make sure that it matches perfectly. You see it's not completely flush. So if you wanna override that snapping that it's doing, you can hold this with your pointer and hold the control button and it'll override that snap so you can match it up perfectly. So we can see here that it's aligned perfectly. So if someone was to fold it over, it would look nice. So the reason why I created these in these templates for my pennant flags inside of Adobe Illustrator because you can see here that in Canva you can't make one side of the triangle have a specific kind of border so I wanted right through the bisecting these two triangles together through the center I wanted it to be a dotted line and I wanted it to be a light dotted line like this so when people fold this product around let me show you down here when they fold cut it out and fold it and then they glue it or tape it on a stick then you won't see that line on the back it's not a deal breaker for this product but i personally wanted it to look nice and you can i wanted to show you too here with this with the black here that you know people would have to cut out the black lines to not have that but with the gray um it's not so noticeable and also when you're making um, mock-ups for these you can also change the border stop the border weight to be um sorry that's the wrong one <laughs> let's go back to our canva one you can change these borders to be to be nothing so that you can create a pennant flag mock-up easily okay so next we are going to i'm going to show you how to use typecraft to fill in your pennant flag so what you can do is you can click on Typecraft. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to actually go to apps. So where are apps? Right there. So you go to apps and you type in type craft right there. Click on it and then you open it by clicking on that and it'll open like this. 
So the thing I don't like about Typecraft is that you're limited by the fonts that are already uploaded in Typecraft. If you were to do this in Adobe Illustrator, you could get whatever sports font or whatever you want to do, any kind of font you want, and then put it inside your flag. But you can still make it work, it's fine. The font that I found in Typecraft that is the most sports team-like font is Forsyth. So I'm going to type in what I want in my flag here. I'm just going to put sports, and then I'm going to type in Forsyth. So that's a good looking, bold, you know, ha like a nice sports style font. So I don't change the mirror points of this. I just kind of manipulate this down here. And um, and the thing about that is that if you have the, the, the mirror points here, you'd have to alter it in a lot of different ways. Of course, play around with it, but this has been the easiest for me. So I can't take this text box like you can, you know, when you take a text box like this and you put it there. I can't take the Typecraft text box and manipulate it over here. I actually have to manipulate it within Typecraft here. So you could type in your word. I'm doing sports. And then um, you have to actually manipulate the shape how you want it to look here. So I'm looking at my design here. And I want to make sure that it's triangular like this so that it fits in here how I want. So then I'm changing these. These are the mirror points right here. You see this and this. These are the mirror points. I want it to be aligned here. I want this to be there. I want this to be triangular down here. I'm going to change this. And you just work with it until you get what you want. And then you can click on add element to design and you can obviously you could change it and manipulate and say, okay, I can update the shape. Okay. I'm not happy with this not being more flush down here. So I'm going to make this longer. I'm going to make that there. I'm going to change that to be more to be deeper. And then I'm going to move that there and I'm going to move that point up there and click on update elements. So you see that it's updating what I want and this one, I want to flatten that out, update element and you just tweak it however you want. So we have our sports here. I can make this smaller if I wanted to make that point fit more into that bottom part of the triangle. There's so many options with this. I like playing around with this in Canva. It's fun. Again, though, it's easier in Adobe Illustrator to get exactly what you want. But if you're not comfortable with Adobe Illustrator, this is a great way for beginners to just get an idea of how tools like this work. And you can just tinker with it to get what you want. So there's that. So then for my sports, um, my sports pennant flag here, I want to... Um, I do want to do a little element. I'm going to do a baseball bat. I just typed in baseball here. Hit enter. And then I found little elements that I want. You can use the pro elements per Canva. It's terms of use now for printable products. So if you are wanting more information about that, go ahead and read Canva's terms of service. I am using pro elements for this. So there we go. I have my sports right there. So now I'm going to do my mock-up for my product and I'm going to download this as a PNG with a transparent background. If you don't have um, Canva Pro, you can always take this into a program to remove the background. There's tons like remove.bg I think is a website that does that. There's lots of free websites that do this. But I have Canva Pro so I'm going to take advantage of the tool. So I do transparent background, page two, as a PNG. All right, so I see here this is a transparent background and I have that important white background that's solid. So I can take that here and you see how that's that white solid background. If it wasn't white solid, it would look transparent with the, um, it'd be see-through and it just wouldn't work for a mock-up. So then what I do is I take this and I, I put that there and I shape it how I want and then I 
I'm going to ungroup these. And then I, I brought a shadow in from over here because I don't like the way the drop shadows look. So you can go to edit photo and you can go to shadows. I don't necessarily like per se the, the way the drop shadows look on these. I like to add the shadow myself. So what I do is I click on elements and I type in shadows. And then they have tons of shadows that you can pick from. There's one here. You can change the transparency on these to be lighter or darker, whatever you want. So here I have a shadow placed here. It can make that more perfect. And then I'm holding the control key when I manipulate this because I don't want it to snap into place. I want it to go exactly where I want. So there we are. Now I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to put it back over that shadow. I like to see some of the shadow underneath it. Shadow frame. There we go. So then I'm going to move this. And I'm going to put that here, position backwards. And you see it's a nice little flag. So then what I can do is I can, I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to group it and I'm going to move it down here. And then I have my little sports flag. So then what I can do too is I can remove this background and I can go to elements and type on like sports event. And I could get an a photo of a sports event. Now there's a bunch of people cheering here. So what I do is I'd set that as the image background and I'd probably make that transparency lighter and I'd have it here, right there. So then it, it's the setting of the environment, but you can also obviously make it a solid background and then you could put text and you can say, you know, pennant, flag, and I would change the text to whatever text you use for your listing images. You could say team, pennant, flag, and then I like to put the size and, you know, I'll put, you know, like digital download so people don't know that, people know they're not getting a physical product sent to them. Digital download, US letter. So then you can click on that position center, move this down, have that there. And then you have your position center. <laughs> and then you have your mock-up for your product. You can obviously make this cuter. You can do, you know, sparkle, sparkler, something to be more festive like a graphic or something like positions back to make this smaller. So then it makes it more festive. So I hope that this teaches you how to make a pennant flag to sell in your Etsy shop or in your e-commerce shop off of Etsy and how to make the mock-ups for products like this.